Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Today is, well, not today, tomorrow is. Tomorrow. Inter, no, national, national, okay, National Strawberry Cream Pie Day. We are ready for International Coffee Day, and now we want to get ready mm -hmm. for National Strawberry Cream Pie. And I have to admit, I've had chocolate cream pie, coconut cream mm -hmm. pie, banana cream pie, but I've never even You've heard never strawberry cream pie? of strawberry cream Ooh, pie. I so Lindsay it. Hargett is here from LK Cooking, mm -hmm. one of our favorites, to show us how to make a strawberry cream pie and get us ready for mm -hmm. this big holiday tomorrow. So yes. welcome, Lindsay. Tell us yes. about the pie. All right, so this is kind of a, a last hurrah for summer and for berry season, you know, because we're moving into like apple pie season. So we're gonna have one more day with strawberry pies and just make this si super simple strawberry pie. And we're actually gonna be making them kind of semi-homemade because um, pie crust is a little daunting to some people. So we're gonna be using these um, wholly wholesome pies and they're pre-made. And usually I'm not the biggest fan of pre-made, but Whenever I do have to buy one, I get these wholly wholesome because they have gluten free. They have um, they're all organic. They're great ingredients and they taste really good. They have like vegan pies, spelt flour pies, just all the different kinds you could want. So that's what we're gonna kind of put. Well, that's good to know. But my kids love pie and I'm not any good. I've tried making homemade yes. pie crust. I just need to try a little harder, I guess. But I always buy the pie mm -hmm. crust at the store. But I always buy the exact same kind. And I didn't mm -hmm. know there were options. So yes, and that's these exciting. Have a little cleaner ingredients. So excited to show you those. So. With this, I mean, this is a super simple recipe, which is why it's great to use the pre-made crust because it's just okay. gonna be super easy. So we've got strawberries and cream, and we're gonna do a little bit of like a, a gelatin mixture to make it kind of solidify a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so what we're gonna do is we've got this strawberry gelatin like I talked about, and I'll put it in here. And then we wanna dissolve that jello first. So I'm gonna pour some boiling water in and you can okay. whisk it up. And we wanna all whisk right. it until um, the gelatin all dissolves. So we're gonna do that, and then while that is okay. going, and while that's dissolving, I'm gonna show you, you need half a cup of water, but then you're gonna add ice cubes into it until it comes up to a cup, because once we've got it dissolved, we wanna shock it the other way and bring it back down. So, but the ice cubes will melt. <laughs> so, we're gonna- And this is the fast way to do jello. You can do the slow way too, right? But yes. we're going quick. Okay. So this will, like I said, super, super simple. So, we're gonna pour those in there. Just stir those around, and that nice. will, like I said, those will all melt. And then, you can make this extra simple by using like the frozen whip topping, but, you know, we're gonna make this a little more homemade, and I made this homemade whipped cream, which is just two cups of whipped cream, of heavy whipping cream, um, a half a cup of powdered sugar, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. And you just whip yeah. that in a mixer with a, you know, a hand mixer until it's all nice and fluffy. So, um, what we're gonna do is, you know, these will finish <laughs> melting. Eventually melt. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> and we're going to add some, our whipped cream in here. So I'll add this in, and I'm gonna let you just fold it in. You're gonna let me so, fold it in. Yes. Wow, this is big. So, will be a beautiful technique. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, and then we're going to add some of these awesome strawberries in there. And so while you're folding this, I'm actually gonna show you kind of some of these, the crests. So this is the, I think I got the spelt flour one, and they have a whole wheat one. Um, the pie that I made that we're gonna sample in a little bit is an organic one, which is my favorite, or and it's. Um, it's gluten-free, so even though I don't eat gluten-free, it's actually my very favorite of theirs, and people have not even been able to tell the difference. So, this is just really awesome. I get them at Redmond Farms, like in Heber or in Orem or Sugar House, but they have them at Whole Foods, they have them at like Associated yes. Fresh Markets, things like that, so. Are they in the freezer section or refrigerated section? Or so they're in the, they're freezer. In the freezer, they okay. come in a pack of two. Like I said, I just buy a couple of them, and whenever I need to make a crust that, you know, for somebody that can't have gluten or things like that, this is definitely my go-to. So, super easy to find and I love using them for that. Oh, that so. is great. Okay, I'm trying to fold here, but I feel like I'm not super successful So I'm being too gentle. So we're gonna finish up with the whisk. So you wanna fold it kind of at first, but you nice. can just put that in okay. there. Perfect, and I'm gonna swing right. it here, and we're gonna pour it I'll into this, this up. It smells really good, mm -hmm. really refreshing. So bright. Nice end of summer. I guess we're in autumn now, but still. Yes. Know, we're remembering like, so we're summer. We're having one last hurrah. <laughs> yes, so. absolutely. So then what we're there. gonna do. That looks better. You don't need to make the strawberries look pretty. I know a lot of the time, you do um, like pretty designs and things like that, but this one is super, super simple. Like I said, strawberry cream pie day is tomorrow, and so you want to, this is just a super <laughs> easy recipe to kind of throw it together for tomorrow. So they don't need to be pretty. We're gonna pour these into the crust, and then this makes enough, this filling makes enough for two pie crusts, so we're just gonna pour a little bit of that into there. Marching I'll let you do that, because I'll probably make a mess. <laughs> have you, honestly, everywhere. have you ever had strawberry cream pie before yes. today? Really? Mm -hmm. Is it a thing? <laughs> yes, I love it. I love strawberries and cream, and the city where I live in, they have uh, strawberry days, and so we always get strawberries and oh, cream. Fine. And I've had favorite, strawberry so. pie, of course, but never strawberry yes. cream pie, so I kind of a fun it. option. So you just kind of pour this over, and like I said, the strawberries don't have to be pretty, because this cream mixture is going to cover it all up. And then, since it has the gelatin in there, you're going to want to put it in the fridge 
for, I did it overnight, you do it for about six hours, and then it will kind of harden up so that you can cut it into nice slices. And then um, in our next segment when we're tasting, I'm gonna show you how to do a strawberry whipped cream that won't break. Oh, so. something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Well, it's we are going to be right back. We are going to try this great recipe. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to sample it. So stay tuned. This will be just a quick commercial break. We'll see you soon. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are getting ready for this fun tasting segment. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut it. it. How long did it stay in the fridge? So this was in the fridge six hours, however long I slept last night. So <laughs> that wasn't long, long enough. Went to you bed. need eight yeah. hours. <laughs> so I've got this in the oven, or I had this in the fridge last night. And while I'm cutting it, so we're going to make some homemade strawberry whipped cream. And mm. you can do this, a lot of the time people do it with fresh strawberries, but if you add moisture into whipped cream, it it breaks and it gets kind of runny and it's not mm -hmm. super good. So what we're going to do is I crush up some dehydrated strawberries mm -hmm. and you can find like in your grandma's food storage and or at Target <laughs> like I did. Um, and then, so you're gonna crush them up like this. So I would say, I'm gonna let you fold this together since your folding skills are on point today. Um, I appreciate so, that. Oh, and a lot of that. Okay, so fold all okay. of that in there. So it's got that strawberry flavor, but it won't, and it'll give, you know, a fun pop of pink, yeah, but it won't, it won't break won't the lumpy cream. and kind yes. of gross. Yeah, this is a great idea. I would have never thought of using dehydrated strawberries. Mm -hmm. So I love using it. Although like my grandma does not have like this that. in food storage. Yeah. <laughs> that one is the really pretty Target version. But, yeah. <laughs> you know, they sell them by the bulk. So, so we're going to get that all together and then we'll get some slices. So I've got some pretty strawberries since you can't see the strawberries in here. And uh, all right, we've got some plates right down there, I believe. Aggressive folding over here. Okay, <laughs> we we're gonna get trying together. this. So looks delicious. I am so excited. So you'll put this the whipped cream on breakfast. each individual piece with yes. some strawberries. Mm -hmm. And you can see like the like the nice pretty strawberry oh, in that there. That is pretty. I love but it. But again, it's still fluffy. The you know the the moisture from the strawberries, from fresh strawberries, doesn't get you know it doesn't like weigh it down or anything. So we'll get some plates out here and get this sampled. So this is the gluten free crust from Holy Wholesome, and again they have you know organic ingredients, and so it's really just a lot better than you know what you normally grab the normal brand that you grab from the grocery store. So, so if you're gonna have a pie, you might as well try to make yes, it somewhat. Exactly, it has just a little bit better to it. And again, if you have any, pretty much any allergy or diet mm -hmm. that you're following, this brand has a, a pie crust to fit that. So. Well, and so many people are having to go gluten-free, so mm -hmm. what a great option, because giving so, up pie so is nice. not I know, fun. so sad, right? <laughs> so sad. So. All right, this is a little bit crumbly. Right, Ooh, but excited. see how nice it kind of holds together. Well, the first piece is always the worst, Perfect. so that looks really good for the not first bad, piece. Not bad, right? Yeah, not bad at all. Okay, so you can get some pretty strawberries and some nice whipped cream. Okay. And we'll get some Look how pretty this one. is. It's nice and pink. And it's basically it's breakfast pink. because it's full of strawberries and it's <laughs> gluten-free and organic, at least the crust is, so. You're right. You know. It's totally breakfast food. It's perfect so. for breakfast. Perfect for my breakfast. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> this is definitely counting as my breakfast. So, so while I try this, Lindsay, tell me a little more about what you've been up to. I know you are always busy in the kitchen doing, doing lots of exciting things. things. Yes. yes. So, um, you know, we're getting down to the or done with the you know the summer caterings events and things like that that I've been doing. Um, and I've got my monthly kids classes back into effect. I have a class in October for kids that is we're making homemade pumpkin cookies with homemade pumpkin like we're roasting real pumpkins oh, and yum. pureeing it oh. um, my first class filled up within an hour and so I'm gonna open up a second class and so you'll find those details on my website at lkcooking.com and then on my Instagram I post regular updates mm -hmm. but then I'm also doing a class for adults and I'm really excited about this one we're going to be doing a knife skills class I need that <laughs> yes I'm gonna go I, that's what I hear from most people is if they only knew how to use their knives better you know, they would have a little more confidence in the kitchen and, you know, you're kind of a little afraid of cutting yourself and it just makes well, you it's so much more so efficient, faster. right? When yes. you're cooking, yeah, faster. So much more efficient because so. there are certain ways to cut certain, you know, fruits and vegetables and meats and things like that. So you're also going to go home with an actual professional knife, the same brand that I use because I want you to nice. go home and be prepared. So the dates are still to be, to be decided on that. So again, <laughs> LK Cooking on Instagram for regular post updates. And um, you can sign up on my website once the class has been you know, fully announced at lkcooking.com. And if you don't so. follow her on social media, you really should. I started following Lindsay after she came on the morning show the first time quite some time ago. Mm -hmm. And she's just, you're always so busy. You have beautiful pictures I of your cooking. all the food. So. Your classes, you know, your classes dogs are darling. My dogs are always on there. If you love dogs. 
we had them in here last month. And we it did. Was crazy. It was yeah. hilarious. So, but so if nice you didn't see that, today. it's on YouTube. Yeah, I have so. to catch that one. It's so funny. Check so, it out. But nice to be here without with just myself today, <laughs> and so I can eat real people food this time. So. Yeah. Speaking of eating, let's, let's try give this. A this. Try. Very excited. My kids will be stoked that I'm ready for mm -hmm. strawberry cream pie day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have to go to the store, but exactly. Mm. So you mm. get the fresh strawberries in there that you don't really see, but yeah, it's very good. refreshing. And can you Great tell taste. the? I mean, usually gluten-free things are a little kind of funky, but mm -mm. I've made I've used this crust for a lot of different things when I do like big catered oh. events with quiches and stuff like that. Oh, really? I will use these, and I don't tell anybody, and then they never know. So I think they're you know they're still just as good, but they're is, you know, a little better for you. It is delicious, refreshing, a great way to end mm -hmm. summer. So you also do catering classes, and you're a personal chef as well. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so I meal prep for people bring them, you know, dinners for the week and things like that. And I do catering, so if you're traveling, I've been up here in Park City and Deer Valley and Heber a lot this summer for people that are coming in to enjoy, you know, the nice weather. And then I get people coming in for the winter for ski season. So, you know, if you're coming to visit or if you, you know, come up here to ski or anything like that, you come home from skiing. And I know, at least when I used to snowboard, I would come home and be ravenous. And the last thing <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do was like get in the kitchen and cook something. Mm -hmm. So. That's kind of what I do, and I just make sure that everybody has all the food they want and all the comfort food, but without having to do grocery shopping and dishes and actually be in the kitchen, so. Oh, well, I love it. I've actually made some of your recipes before. I think awesome. for Thanksgiving last year, I made good, your good. sweet potatoes, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. It's it was so really good. Ago, we're going to have some more good. good ones this year, so. Oh, absolutely. But well, you're going to want to check out LK Cooking Online. Thank you so much, Lindsay mm -hmm. Hargett, for joining us. Thanks for having me I'm again. I'm excited for National Strawberry Cream Pie Day, which mm -hmm. is tomorrow. tomorrow. So you are ready. And thanks. this is easy. You can do it. You can do it. Very easy. So thanks to mm -hmm. Lindsay for getting us all prepared for that exciting holiday. Mm -hmm. We have much more going on with the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back.